Hi, my name's Andy. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to build a micro car camper with no build construction with an IKEA style flat pack design. A lot of you might have ideas of getting out there on the road, building yourself a camper van, but you don't have the right kind of vehicle. Well, don't worry, because I'm going to show you how to do it with a small, typical looking hatchback and you won't have to destroy the vehicle to build this. This is my friend's car, a small hatchback. I helped fit it out as a temporary type of accommodation that can be used as a camper van type thing while you're on holiday or perhaps you might need to live in your car. This is a solution for you. Okay, so the brief for this build is it has to be a temporary type of design. We want to be able to take it all out and turn it back into a car. And we also have to be able to store things in the vehicle while we're living in it. So let's have a look. Of course, I've got my folding bike in the back here because we are up at the beach just enjoying some nice weather. So I wanted to bring the folding bike along too. And I'll show you how we can store it in here and use it as a normal car to take passengers and then just easily turn it into a camper van type living scenario. So come around here to the passenger area and you can see the seats a normal configuration and it can be used to carry passengers. It won't take long just to turn it into a camper van. So the first thing we want to do is drop the seats flat. And as you can see we've built a nice flat platform in here which is actually big enough to lie down in. of course at a squeeze but I'm quite a tall human and I can comfortably comfortably lie down in here now what we don't have in here at the moment is a mattress but I'll let you use your imagination it's easy enough to put some foam in here as a mattress and then you can comfortably sleep in the vehicle so I'm going to show you now how it all goes together So this carpet is um, from the recycling center. So if you want to build this, you're probably going to want to get some of this carpet. You don't have to, this is optional. But we just like it for comfort and it stops some of the wood that we're using rubbing on parts of the car and causing damage if you want your car to stay nice. That's the first piece of plywood that we use for the top come over here and have a look at this so you'll see how it all goes together this is the base for this for the bed and it's also our storage unit so in here we can keep things like a sleeping bag an inflatable sleeping mat which will keep you more comfortable than sleeping straight on the wood but hey it's up to you you can also use a foam mattress which is easy as well to put in and out of the vehicle So the way this goes together is quite simple. We've just made these slots in the wood. This is just simple plywood. That's the thickness there. So we've got one, two, three. So this is the simple design here. It can be packed down flat for storage, so I'll show you how that works. Pretty obvious. And all that stuff, it's not gonna take up a lot of room if you wanna store it in a shed or a garage or a storage unit 
or something like that. You can easily take it out of the car. You can even put it underneath the bed. So that's that, and now I'll show you how it all goes together. What we've done is we've just used some more carpet that um, I got from the recycling center and just made a bit of a, uh, a liner in here in the, in the trunk area. And that's just to stop the wood rubbing on the parts of the vehicle and causing any damage. Then of course, the top, and you'll see that if you just come in a bit here, you can see that that when that's all in together, it's flush with the with the back seats. This kind of design will work with a bunch of different vehicles, um, bigger cars than this, and probably even smaller cars than this. You can do this with. It's a great design because it means that you're not going to damage the vehicle. You don't have to remove the seats. Now that's something I've done with my car. When you remove the seats then you can only uh, carry as many passengers as you have seats, right? I mean legally. So um, you, you don't want to have to do that if you, if you don't have to uh, and if you don't want to. So this is a great solution. So that's it. That's the basic design of it. And then we just throw in this carpet here. just to make it nice and comfortable. Now all you need to do is bring your nice sleeping mat, inflate that, your sleeping bag, and your sense of adventure. My name's Andy, and you've been watching Hobo Cyclist. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like it, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. One thing you do want to make sure of if you are cycling on the beach is you don't want to get salt water or sand in your moving parts on the bike, including the bearings. It could be a real problem and the salt water will cause it to rust.